Hi friends, this is Inamul Hassan. Welcome to YouTube channel of Engineering Prayog. This is the innovative channel of YouTube. Today, in this video, I am going to cover about the circuit simulation software. I will cover the five points in this video. Number one, what is the circuit simulation software? Number two, which software is best for circuit simulation? Number three, source of circuit simulation software. Number four. how to use its tools and develop a circuit number 5 how to develop a circuit and check whether your circuit is correct or not so let's enjoy the video friends first i will tell you what is circuit simulation software and which software is best for you As we know in the electronics field we need to draw a circuit and also need to check my circuit is working or not for this we need to use a software and here we check about the status of circuit if circuit we made on this software is working it means now we can implement it on the pcb board now it's a time to know which software is best According to my experience Proteus IC software is best for beginners. A beginner can learn easily via this software. Now let's download the software from Google. On the Google type Proteus IC. As you will type the Proteus IC you will see here a menu options. Now go through this link and download this software. friends now your software is ready to start open the software getting started wait a moment yeah now your software has started successfully here is the option you wish to renew your uc online press here no and then go to the file and new design press okay set as default and press okay Now you are seeing here there are lots of options you are seeing like uh, file, view, edit, tools, design, graph, source, debug, library, template, system, help, and many more things. And on the left side you are seeing that here is a cursor, selection mode, component mode, junction dot mode, wire label mode, text script mode, sub script mode. terminal mode is more important here yeah. so i'll tell you about this step by step okay so first we will make a pro simple project to make you understand in a better way so for making this project go on library pick the library type here the components you want okay i'll type here active led Okay, as you type active LED here, uh, so many options. I select animated LED model. Okay, now you see here LED green has added now. Type a motor. Okay, add it on the library by double click here. 
also successfully added. Now you can see. Now we need resistance. Add a resistance by typing RES. You will get an option. Yeah, RES. Select it and add on the library. And also we need switch. So type a switch. As you will type the switch, here are so many options of switches. Okay. So go down and uh, select it. Okay. Now click on OK. Yeah. Now four components has added successfully on the library. If you want to take any component over this graph, click here and draw it here. Okay. As you are seeing that here size of this component is very little. By going on zoom to zoom it now, yeah. Now its size has got large. Okay. So again go to the terminal mode. We need power. So choose the power and uh, place over the place the power over here. And if you want to rotate this direction, then click here, right, and uh, do the do the change do the direction it's change. Okay. Now I uh, need to take your place the components as for this go to the component 3D green as I'm selecting here select and now you can place here the LED and rotate the direction of LED according to your wish as I have need to rotate in 90 degree anti-clockwise clockwise you can rotate it according to your wish. So as I place the LED and now place the resistance here. Okay. Also change the direction of this. Now connect the wire of resistance to the LED and second terminal to the switch. Now Take the motor and place here motor. Okay, change direction and connect the wire to the motor and again go to the Comment mode crown and I place the crown symbol here. Rotate it according to your wish and to connect the crown power supply to the another end of LED and also to the another end of motor connect to the crown power supply. Now you can see here is circuit is ready. Sorry, it's not ready yet. As you will play the simulation software, you, you can see that motor is running very sharply. So here is switch, but still you will see that LED is not glowing. Why LED is not glowing? Because here, here is error that you can see here whatever resistance we are using that is of 10k. And 10k resistance is very enough to glowing LED. Uh, we need like a 420 or 200, 200 ohm to glow the LED wire resistance. So I'm writing here 220 and then OK. And now again play the simulation software. And now as of switching. LED as well as motor is railing very softly. Now it's off. So uh, if you need to check that whatever current we are flowing through these terminals 
exactly how much current getting all the components so if you want to use or check it then go to the visualization and then place your and then uh, connect the positive terminal to the positive and negative terminal to the negative of the LED you can drag it by placing here and there so you can place the component all the components on the graph wherever you want to keep Again, I am selecting the DC voltmeter to check also the voltage of motor that how much voltage motor is exactly getting. So again, we have to connect the positive terminal to the positive terminal and negative terminal to the negative terminal. So I have rotated in the direction same manner as it should be. Now voltmeter has connected. Now play the simulation software. Has played and run. Here it's starting now. You can see the motor is getting plus 5 volt, and on the other side, it is getting 2.24 volt. So it's working very smoothly, very sharply. On off, it's getting work very fine. So, friends, uh, whatever you have project made here. On the Proteus software, if you want to write the name over the graph, you can also do it. Okay, open it and then on the string, write whatever you want to write. So here as I will give the name is, uh, whatever I have made on the simulation software, I will write use of motor and LED using switch. So right here, we are using switch. Yeah, you can write anything. So, thus you can see it. Also, you can change the color. You can do anything. Drag, drag it wherever you want to drag. So, also here you can increase the size of text, like. Uh, according to your read or according to your wish you can drag, you can write, you can edit you can do many and much more things using this software So friends, I hope you enjoyed my video, please do subscribe, like and do comment. Thank you.